Hello everyone, day 31 coming at you. This is the Unity Game Development Blog, where we're creating an RPG style game from scratch, trying th some things out about a month in, and uh, it's been an exploratory process, like I've said in the past. And today I did the last two thirds of the map, at least the outline of what the map will be. Still some detail work, so I'd say I'm about 80% done the first draft of the overworld. Um, let's go in for a little closer look here. Uh, really, really excited. I have the earth world or earth area done below, the elf uh, area mapped out above, and then working on some of the detail work for the dead zone in the middle, which is really cool. Let's zoom in at the top. Yesterday we looked at the bottom, so we're going to start at the top today. So on the left here, I haven't uh, fleshed out what this is going to be yet. I'm going to refer to the story a little bit closer to pinpoint what I'm going to need that I don't have yet. Uh, so I've left a little area here for me to be able to do that. But I have the river and the waterfalls all done in the terracing, which I really like. It turned out great. Um, and then I have a whole bunch of little areas here for the buildings. Now, the building right here in the middle, this is what I feel um, is a good spot for Rem's house, our main character. So our main character will start here as this is his house, and this is his herbalist shop up front here. I still have to do the, all the detail work, but essentially that's the location of the two. I'm going to have it so that I can uh, manipulate the area for some of the cutscenes at the beginning because this is a pretty important section of the map early on in the story. Uh, and then we're going to come over here. I have a few other uh, buildings here. They're all sort of tucked up on these little terrace levels. You can get to them by bridge and stair, as well as caves and things like that, which you can explore throughout the game. Um, so I have a little shop or a house up here. I don't know exactly what that'll be used for. I'm going to label all these uh, based on what's happening in the story, but for now I want the areas to make sense. Um, so I have an individual building there that's sort of separated, and then over here I have a section of three buildings. Now I designed the front building here specifically for um, one of the characters in the story. The, this character is in charge of ferrying people between the Earth Realm and the Elf Realm, so um, this, is, this house will be uh, that character's. And I have a feeling there's going to be like a secret passage through the basement that then you come out at this uh, dungeon entrance here. And that's how you get into the Earth uh, Realm, right? Now, everything else, there's no other way through. There's no bridges, walkways, steps, or anything through from the Elf to the Earth. So the only way is to go through this secret passage which comes out of this house here, which I think is pretty cool. So if you want to get between the two, you have to go through here. Uh, just to finish off the elf world here in the top right hand corner, there's going to be a, like a little area which you can access um, with some secret uh, parts of the game in there. Maybe dungeons, a tree stump which you can go down below, things like that. So let's come on into the earth world here through that portal there. Um, through that entrance, I should say. And you come to the the large uh, upper lake of the Earth Realm, where the two waterfalls uh, go from the Earth, or from the Elf to the, to the uh, human side. So you cross over here, and there's this little house that's in charge of uh, this, this Earth Pyramid here. Now, the Earth Pyramid I have envisioned um, to be sort of like a Colosseum, uh, a dugout coliseum that uh, sort of events happen in for the village people. Um, rather than designing, it's sort of part of our story, I believe, is a coliseum scene, or at least some sort of a scene similar to that. Um, and I didn't think I'd be able to pull off an actual structure uh, that would look good enough, so I decided, you know what, I can make a hill pretty easily, and we'll have this as sort of, you go inside there, and it's an in, in, inside sort of cave type coliseum, which I think would be pretty cool. So this is the ticket house for that. And also it protects this bridge. So um, when you first come in, this is sort of the first initial forest you reach, as well as this ticketing house and uh, toll, toll bridge house. So 
Um, then you're on the upper terrace of the uh, human world. I think I've been calling it Earth world. I don't know why, but human world, um, human realm or whatever you want to call it. I have to get used to calling it that. So you can come to a secret spot on the right, which has a bridge. Not really secret, but just uh, an offset spot on the side on the right where it has two structures. And I don't know what's going to go on here yet, but there's an area here which we can build into the story. If you go to the left, which you have to go around the Colosseum Mound, the pyramid, the Earth Pyramid. So if you go around this, um, then you get to this forest here. So this is the Western Forest, this is the Eastern Forest. And um, this has the only staircase down to um, the lower level of the human area, which has the little village, a couple uh, houses. Uh, this is, I don't know what this is going to be exactly. I think it was the tavern. It's a large tavern. I believe I have that sign down there as a tavern. Um, this is all stuff you've seen before. There's another house over here protecting a cave and a stump. Um, so different things here. There's a couple little islands, which I'm hoping you'll be able to fish off of. Um, I think that's part of the game. There's going to be fishing up here in the, uh, the early on in the story. So I'm going to have to have some spot where you can fish here. Um, we're going to see if I can actually pull that off in the game, but I think I can. But then there's also some spots here with some little bridges and islands, which we can play in, in somehow. Um, and this hasn't changed yet. So the only other thing that's changed is I've done some work on the... I don't... Oh yeah, this is like an island that belongs to the elf world. Um, but it's sort of right in here in the dead zone. And you take this long bridge to get to it. So... I'm thinking maybe it's like a sorcerer's or um, the uh, one of the elders or an oracle or something can be here, sort of in the middle, separated from everything and right in the middle of the dead zone, but elevated way up. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, we can incorporate some sort of character into that area, which is pretty awesome. So let's go over. The, I've done a little bit of work here, putting some trees, and I'm thinking it's going to have a lot of these sand pits all over, just dead grass and uh, red trees like blood soaked trees and plants and things. This is the one area I spent the most time on sort of getting the feel of how the dead zone will feel. Uh, so I have this. On the edge of the maps there's always buffers so that the camera doesn't go over. The character can't go right to the edge of the map and that way the visuals will stay uh, in the camera zone. So I have like a little fence there and just just protects the character so that it can only walk through here. This is going to be an aside part of this section where you can go through this uh, this dungeon here, maybe to collect an item. You have to come all the way over, all the way over here for that. Uh, and obviously this gets access, which I had before from... Oh no, I don't think I did have this before. So I, this access is underneath both of those realms. You, there's a tunnel and a cave that you travel through to get from one side, the west side, to the east side of the dead zone. So a lot of things we can play into the story. We can come up with some really creative uh, uh, parts to incorporate all these different areas of the map. So yeah, that's about it. So I'm about 80% done. Um, so there is some detail work to be worked out here. And obviously as the game progresses through play tests and story development, the map may get altered slightly. But um, I'm really happy with it so far. It's coming together and there's a lot of uh, potential for a really cool game using this uh, this map. So anyways, day 31 is complete. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Subscribe if the first time you've uh, come across this and you're interested in following along with the development of the game. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.